Today we are creating the perfect starter pack for your vinyl crafting journey. You're of course going to have to decide on which machine you want. There are a ton of them out there and I recommend Silhouette products, but if you're using Cricut or Caesar brand, you can still follow along with this video. There's a ton of value in what comes next. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette and you found your way to Silhouette Success. I do hope that you're going to join our little crafting community. We would absolutely love to have you. After you've made up your mind as to which machine you want, of course you're going to need some decent software to run it. Each machine brand comes with its own software and if you are using Cricut, I highly recommend that you grab Silhouette Studio Business Edition so that you can design in Silhouette Studio, save as an SVG, and then upload it to Cricut. It's going to make your life a lot easier, and then you'll get to hang out with us for all the tips, tricks, and tutorials as well. Anytime you are working with vinyl, you're going to need some type of weeding tool and some type of scraper. And this may seem like a no-brainer, but this is the weeding tool that most people start off with. It's just the basic hook, nothing fancy to it. You can actually pick these up at the Dollar Tree and they do an okay job. But I have found that the pin pen is a much more precise option. It is very sharp, very pointy. You can get these for around $5 online and it will make your life so much easier. We're going to move on to the scraper now. This is the basic scraper option. Everyone has one of these when they start out, and again, it is okay, but there are better options. This is my go-to. It's more flexible. It's not really rubbery, but it's got a little more give to it, so it's not going to scratch up your projects. It also has the felt tip on one end, which gives you a little bit more of a gentle scraping area. This tool came with the cup holder, and this is great for working with tumblers or cups or mugs. You can set your glassware down in there and it doesn't roll around on you while you're trying to apply your decals. This set I think was $7 on Amazon. I will put a link in the description, but it is worth every penny. You will not regret it. Now this I do not use for vinyl, but it is a must have. You can get it from the Dollar Tree. I use the edge to clean the debris off my mat, and I also use it for lifting up transfer tape. If the design wants to stick to the backing a little bit, I just put a little pressure and pull up as I'm holding the vinyl down with the edge and I also use this to apply laminate over my stickers so that there are no bubbles. Of course you're going to want a decent pair of scissors. Every craft room has to have a good pair of scissors. You want to put a warning label on this for everyone in your household letting them know not to walk off with your favorite pair of crafting scissors. I also recommend getting an X-Acto knife and one of these rulers. Now this ruler has the safety guard on it so you can place your fingers behind here. You run the X-Acto knife along this edge and your fingers are protected. If you're doing heat transfer vinyl, you're going to need a heat source, and this is one that you're not going to buy. You do not want a large handheld heat press, to be honest, they are a waste of money. If you want professional results, you're going to grab a full-size heat press. They're not that much more expensive, and you can watch for deals on them, and you'll be much better off in the long run. Your products are gonna last longer, they're going to look better, and it's going to be less of a headache. This baby though, you do want this one. If you're going to do any small projects, these are perfect for onesies, they're perfect for personalizing ribbon, makeup bags, any kind of small design, you do want to have one of these. Any of the smaller items, are going to have seams which will be in the way on your larger press and you will get better results with the mini press over the full size press with the small projects. Now let's move on to the actual materials that you're going to want to buy when you start out. Of course you're going to want some adhesive vinyl and I highly recommend starting out with Orkel 651. It is a permanent vinyl 
it is industry standard, it is easy to cut and easy to weed, and it's going to last a long time. Do not use Cricut vinyl. And I am not bashing Cricut here in any way, other than their vinyl is not good. It's overpriced and it is hard to work with. It's hard to get the right cut settings. It is very difficult to weed. Do not recommend. There is the Silhouette Vinyl. You may get a roll of this with your machine depending on if you purchase a bundle or not. Um, it is decent vinyl, but I believe it's overpriced by a bit. Dollar Tree Vinyl, do not do it. It tears. It's not very easy to weed. It's extremely thin. You're going to end up cutting through your mat the first time out. This is not a starter vinyl. I also recommend that you start with vinyl sheets over vinyl rolls. The vinyl rolls can be a little bit difficult to get down on the mat. Sometimes they bubble up. For your first time experience, it's not what you want. First time out, you want something simple that's going to go well and turn out well so that it boosts your confidence and you can go on to the next project feeling good about the whole thing. Same thing goes for heat transfer vinyl. You're going to want to start off with Caesar Easy Weed brand. It is more expensive, but you are going to get good results with it the first time out. Down the road, I do highly recommend that you expand your horizons and you try different brands and whatnot. But when you're starting out, you want to make it easy and you want it to look good when you're done. Once you have the hang of cutting the vinyl out and weeding it and getting it transferred and all of that good stuff, you can go on and explore different brands. I suggest Starcraft. It's an excellent brand for next to no money. It is an amazing deal. I use it all of the time. Make Market from Michaels. If you have a Michaels local to you, I highly recommend that brand. They've got some great colors. It cuts well, it weeds easily, and I've not had any issues with it lasting so far, but it's only been out a short time. So I can't really comment on how well it's going to last. If you're looking into doing cardstock projects, I highly recommend the recollections from Michaels. Each of their paper pads are color coordinated so that you can choose any of these papers in this pack and it's going to go well with whatever else is in there. Here is one of their design packs. Again, it is color coordinated. It's going to make putting some cardstock projects together a lot easier. This is one time that I will recommend Cricut brand. Their paper packs are awesome and I don't have much left in this one, but their paper packs are printed on the front and the back. And you can see that these colors coordinate very well. Here's another piece out of that pack. Those would be very pretty together. So everything just goes really well together in the Cricut paper packs. They are high quality and they are not ridiculously priced. So if you are going to buy anything Cricut, make it the paper packs. Once you have moved past the beginner stage in all of this, you can start to expand your materials list. That's when you're going to start looking at sticker paper, at holographic laminate. I tend to use Amazon for a lot of my stuff, and I've cut everything from real leather to copy paper with my silhouette. As long as you get your settings right, you are going to have no issues at all. The main point in all of this is don't overspend just for the name brand, but don't skimp to the point where the materials are going to affect your whole crafting experience. I do hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you think there's something that I should add to the starter pack, something that you cannot craft without. I'd love to hear about it. Now go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.